Welcome ladies and gentlemen, I'm Falcom and uh, today I'm streaming Polish Eagles against Saracens. This is the grand final for the Polish Cup and uh, it's been a last minute call that I will be streaming and commentating this match but I do believe it's a good one as uh, Polish Eagles looking to have a really strong team showing up today and uh, Saracens not looking that bad either. Sikichi marking for them and apparently you can have one person who is not Polish to play with you. Um, if I can take a guess it would be Nima the Punisher on the Polish Eagles side. Alright so setups um, both teams have the same, 4 in, 2 calf, 2 archers. Pretty basic setup. It's um, supposed to be a closed map, but a lot of people talk about this one being mixture or open even. So I feel like they are set up to play with the classes they have. And uh, just switch it up if something's not working out. That's I think both teams are anticipating this. Blade getting shot to bits right here. And he's a good shot himself, so if he goes down, this is uh, a big thing for the for the Polish Eagles. Flag has spawned in the open, and looks like Polish Eagles are hugging the wall. Trying to catch them on surprise as they're all looking down in the ruins. Now they know that the Polish Eagles are right here. So let's see how they adjust. As I see on the bridge, Blade is already shooting from there. And the infantry charge in. Tsukichi trying to look for a, a hit. And he gets that hit. And Blade dropped out, which is very unfortunate, as he was in a very good position. And it looks like Saracens are doing pretty well. There's one infantry left on the Polish Eagle side, and this might be uh, a huge pain for Saracens. But Polish Eagles holding on to it though, nobody going for flag. And right they are. Very well played here from uh, Manuela. Prince gets a very nice uh, slash back there as well, which I missed. Hebler, nice shot, but team kills it. Probably want it to like uh, come out very strong. Um, but a little impatient. That happens the first round. You just start the tournament, especially this because it's the finals. These guys want to show everything they have, and uh, it's understandable if team kills are gonna happen early in the game. But uh, I don't think anyone wants it. Looks like Polish Eagles are kind of messed up on drops as a lot of money is not uh, wrongly spent. So, uh, Saracens did not adjust as I thought they would. But maybe they want to give it another shot and hope for a better flag or start out different positioning. Uh, let me just tap out real quickly because I want to see if the voice is working. It is. All right. Sorry for that. I've um, I've streamed too many times where my microphone was off, and afterwards, as when I check check the stream again, it had nothing, no voice. <laughs> so it's pretty bad. Um. Ooh, let me. Try to click towards where things are happening, which is this side. Um, Blade and Sebek are looking to get something done here, but they are the ninja duo that Saracens have displayed. As you can see on a mini map, Saracens are, have one cav in their spawn as, um, well, standby cav. And like the main troop at Balcony. And also Blade trying to look out if they come from the right side, which we know that they probably might do. 
looking at Polish Eagle's setup because the only flag they have is the one at the ruins. And maybe in the open, if they stick together and push out well, it is in the open, and let's see what they make of it. I believe that Polish Eagles are going to do the same because they won it last time. Saracens, um, trying to group up. Blade is already running down. Virus gets hit very, very early. I don't know where from. And, um,. Uh, <laughs> 90 degrees and you're in the middle of the fight, so let's see who crosses that corner first. Nord's having jabs, Saracen's stealing the jabs. Oh, Sabic! <laughs> Ruthless headshot with that jab right there. Sabic dropped his shield by accident, and the fight has happened as Saracen's are now pushing forward. Nobody is in advantage right now. Um, they just have to stay alive. That's what the infantry have to do right now. And Prince training is taking very, very good shots. Um, he's got two kills from last round, but this time he shot a lot of people, giving them low health. So Prince fighting his stuff right here, and uh, Punisher doing his own at the flag, but error was um, too fast for the Punisher and uh, he took him down brings us to a 1-1 so with the same thing happening you can see that sometimes a different outcome is possible and um, what happened this time is that Saracens were more on their toes when they crossed through that middle as they knew that last time they were uh, hugging that wall which Polish Eagles did again. Polish Eagles thought they might pull it off, but apparently not. So, will they learn from their lessons if the flag spawns here again? That is a question. So, one person remaining behind here on spawn, which is uh, the Punisher. And this is pretty good because he can tell if somebody's coming uh, all the way from there. So, he's like a. Uh, if you play Dirta, you got like this pole with eyes, and if you place them well, you can see people moving in alleys and stuff. And that is the role that Punisher was doing right there. He was a stick with an eyeball on, but in warbands. Saracen's uh, spreading out a little bit. Trying to learn him in, and I think Polish Eagles are actually falling for it. As Sebek takes the first headshot, and many more are gonna come because Polish Eagles did a very, very reckless push. They're way split up right now, and technically, Saracens completely have this. But both teams are pretty equal, so let's see if it's skill wise or tactical wise that wins. Polish Eagle a little grouped up right here. Prince trying to look for a good position, but he can't go anywhere with these two cav running around. And Sikishi and Karpadim, known to be top, top line infantry, like way, way top. So you don't want to fight in the open against them. Lovka trying to do what he can. Gets taken down by the teamwork and Sebek's last hit. It wasn't a good push. It was kind of risky, if you ask me. Um, maybe the commander was in a different position. I don't know what's happening on their team speak. But it could have been prevented for sure if somebody would have talked to commander through it. So, Polish Eagles losing two rounds in a row right now, and I think they're going to try out something differently now, because, um, well, hey, hanging out the ruins is alright, but they tried it two ways. They tried it to go through the flags on this side, and then try to go up on the ruins, which is a big no-no in my book. It's actually Saracens that is initiating a different tactical approach as they want to get the ruins. So now, 
Only flag that Polish Eagle kinda has is the one in the open. But if you look on the minimap, you see that Saracens are actually equally close to it. I think they're not looking for flags as they're setting up completely to lure them in. And once they lure in, the infantry are just gonna fight against them and then Blade and Virus have it completely. Slowly, the Saracens are moving in here. And a little fight is happening already, as Error was fighting the Cath and Teblar. Uh, sorry, Carpet DM throwing those jabs in the back. Trying to get down one player at least. Punisher coming in. Hoo-hoo, that was virus from up there all the way to the back. Solid shot. I'd say Black Hawk down. Blade, the other archer on this position, gets a shot as well. And now PE are kinda panicking right now as the team is splitting up. Garnicus is going for the flag, but it's not a good call if you ask me, because this is what happens if you have one player less in your team. It just snows balls really, really fast. So Garnicus maybe has the flag, but he's a minute and 30 seconds to survive against six players. So this is why I said it's not a good call. It's a very... Um, running into a spear from Carpet Team might look like it was not a good move. But that was a complete team, team benefit move as he did that. Because once... Um, the infantry, let me try to find his name again, Ganicus, uh, was focused on him, on stopping him, Sakishi came in, and then the whole troop came in, so it was com definitely a team move rather than, uh, well, a mistake, I would say. It is 3-1 for um, the Saracens, so let me change the score. Meanwhile, I'll play a little music as usual for you guys, and I'll stream back when we are live.
Alright people, it looks like it's going live again. Let me set up the settings as I usually like to do. Um, so I don't give you guys the wrong information. Here we go. Had a little chat with uh, my brother from another mother in my team speak. The man's called Artisan, and he just declared how much he loves me. Well, uh, I love you too, buddy. Um, Saracen's going in, in pretty heavy on infantry. Five. Five is heavy, in my opinion, but they are Nords, and this is. Well, a good map. You got a lot of alleys and you can hold up people where you want, unless the flag spawns in the open and you side fight in the open. But right, other than that, oh wow, a little choke right there. Um, other than that, I I completely agree on five infantry, especially with the players you can see. Panoramics, hell a good one. Harmon, Sabek, Error, Virus. Well, that's that's something different here, because Virus is usually a very very skilled archer but they set up Hybrak instead um, I gotta say all of these guys are top of the line on the Saracen side so uh, I, I couldn't beat him <laughs> not one of them in any class I think uh, on the other side Polish Eagle are hella strong as well though and they are setting up exactly the same way as Saracen set up last set with uh, 4 infantry, 2 calf, 2 archers. Now the people looking here, I uh, see it's like not a lot of um, subscribers of me that are watching the stream. Um, every single guy you see, every single person is a human being behind the screen. And uh, the main goal is to raise the flag all the way to the top, because you can see it's at the bottom right now. So it raises all the way to the top, you win, or you kill the other team. So uh, it's a big, big mind game about how to approach and what you choose to do to kill the team or go for the flag. And so far, uh, these guys have decided to go at each other. Prince here looking to go on, on the bridge. Blackhawk and all the other PEs go on the bridge as well. Saracens this time chose to raise the flag. As you can see, there are you have to stand under it, that's what you have to do to raise it. You can lose raising it if you go off a little too far like Sebek is right now. So it goes down again, as you can see. Um, I don't know why they went off the flag though, because that's where they could have fired. And I don't know why Prince jumped off the bridge as well, because now the cab from uh, the Saracens can reach him. But it uh, looks like Saracens are holding up pretty damn well, actually. As their infantry are taking hits, but just not dying. And this is not what PE wants, though. Uh, Will No Nazi is the last guy alive. And he didn't have much chance at all, as there was still six Saracens alive. I hope that... PE will realize they need a little bit more infantry because um, if you're gonna fight them like if they fought right there way over the open one on one you want infantry to do that you don't want an archer to go in melee or you don't want calf just running up and down this hill all over again because that takes time and uh, you can die with pretty much one hit in this game. It's very, very merciless if you don't pay attention. Alright, so PE now staring in the eyes of Saracens. And the uh, Saracens are, are not sure yet what to do. They are still deciding upon it. They have covered the square. And PE looks like they backed off a little bit. Will now stuck right here. His horse goes down, and Champion Habrek <laughs> um, took a shot at him before Carpe Diem could throw his jab down. Once again, Tablar is a little split off from his team, but he's a good eye to see if anybody else is coming from this way. 
Punisher and Blackhawk are doing the same, and Blackhawk is way off. So now these guys are way off, and Saracens decide, okay, let's push these other guys, because they have two of them just standing out in nowhere. And so the majority always wins, and as you can see right now. Blackhawk finally catching up, though. But can he get to Prince fast enough? No, he cannot. Prince goes down. And um, so does Blackhawk, and so does Nima, the Punisher. Last guy left here is Tablar. And Sakishi coming in with big slash. He goes down. Um, so that was. I mean, that was the mistake we saw it. Uh, hopefully, these guys will realize it now or after the stream and fix it as they see it because um, you cannot you can wander off to have like eyes over the map to see if there's an infantry or whatever behind the building but when the fight starts you have to regroup and you definitely don't have to go as far as Blackhawk did because as if you're an infantry you're supposed to stay alive and hold the other infantry that, that is the main job you gotta do and uh, he he wasn't holding anyone. He was just he was bling, uh, being a black hawk, I guess. It's <laughs> actually what a chopper does in the American army, living up to his name. Fight has started, and PE looking very very good at the moment, as they have the advantage. But this drops back very quickly though, as a lot of PEs died. Virus uh, trying to kill somebody here and Habrak just taking shots and he gets one and the other one goes down. So hopefully now PE realizes they need that infantry to hold up or their infantry need to hold stronger. But sadly enough they didn't change any classes and with um, Saracens already having that many survivors and being Nords this is your result right here. A tanked up calf, Carpy, um, <laughs> Error, a tanked up Harmon. Look at these guys, like, they're solid, they have solid stuff though. Panoramic's not taking the shield, but it's kind of careless. Maybe he's still trying to look for one. Or maybe somebody didn't drop it. But that would be weird because he's in infantry. Alright, so Saracens decided to all to push out here. And the good thing for Saracens right now would be if the calf come behind. And there's Carpi as I talk. Sakishi coming in from their side. Punisher looking to do the same on the Polish Eagle side. Will now getting a very good bump slash now. Very good bump again. Wilno has been doing hella good as a team player. As he, he goes everywhere and just hits whatever he can, bumps wherever he can. Tablar trying to stay alive against Virus, but it's not looking solid as Virus is well, way more tanked up. Sakishi has a nice hit right there. And Lovka, once again, last guy alive on Polish Eagle. Gets a kill, but gets, uh, goes down to Virus. That brings us to a total of uh, 7 to 1 for the Saracens. Now, who would have thought? I thought it was going to be a very, very close game, but Saracens, uh, as Nords, they did it well. Very, very well. Um, so, let me update the score, and I'll give you music a little bit, and Hopefully, we'll see a huge change on the open map that is yet to come after this break.
Looks like it's going live again. And um, let me set up my stream real quickly. One second. And there we go, we should be live. Let me check if my voice uh, is heard. It is. Alright, now this map is one I have never ever played in a battle competitive mode, and it looks so damn sweet, and I'll show you why. Look at the details of this map. So this is just a, like a hack and slash multiplayer game. People who made this, I mean, how sweet is that? But um. As you can see, there's like many cracks in the houses, and you can go in different places. Because I've never ever played this competitively, it's gonna be hard for me to commentate because I, I really don't know what the strategical advantages are on this map. Not a clue. Um, what I have experienced yet, though, is that if you go into this building right here, you can get up here. And this building right here is pretty much the middle of the map so if you get in that building you can go in all buildings well most of them um you can go anywhere so i have no clue where the flag spawns either and uh, it'll be a big surprise for me um saracens have a seven one up but in the break i saw that polish eagles were wrecking them Completely, so I do hope for a very, very good comeback. It's 16 rounds. That means if you have an 8, but the score is 8, you can not, not lose, you can only draw. And if you have a 9, then the other team can only get 7, which adds up to be 16. And so if you get a 9, we already know that it's a win. And uh, Saracen are only two points away, while still eight rounds are to be played. Flag is on the ship, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Um, Polish Eagles traveling through these ships, going from one to another. 
Tebler here, which is an archer, is going in the back. Habrak um, is their archer, and he's in the tower. Blade is on the other side. Fires as well, shooting as well this time. Um, so Habrak is being suppressed now by Tebler, and now the Polish Eagles can come in if they want. The sound you hear is because Sevek is stuck in that place. <laughs> he can't do anything anymore. So he goes down, and that's very unfortunate. Now that was a uh, kind of siege mode activation right there, as um, they had to climb up, and there was only one passage to go through. The fight is happening under the in the captain's little log right there. It's a Kishi on the flat ground. Late surviving a long, long time though. And the uh, Polish Eagles are not greedy at all. They they just surrounded the guy and like school bullied him and pushed him around in the circle a little bit. Um, very easy win I feel for Polish Eagles, but they have shown in the break that they are capable of doing so. Um, Sakishi dropping down from being a calf because he couldn't help out. It was in a boat. So he made a very, very good call to go infantry. Well, if the flag spawns there again. Um, three archers on Saracen's side, and I can't... I cannot disagree. Because these guys are really, really sharp. They, if they see you, you pretty much have already a bolt flying your way. And uh, Polish Eagles are going to do it with one calf, though. That is Will No Nazi. Um, I've heard that he was a merc, but could be wrong. As, uh, I thought that Numa the Punisher was the merc. Sebek trying to push out Azir way up top right there. And it looks like Saracens are doing split up, so if Virus goes up with them right now, the Polish Eagles should push up right here because they have two players less. Which makes complete sense to me, but Polish Eagles leaving the guy to his fate up there. And Will now doing huge damage on Sebek right there. Has the person died? I believe not. It's Sebek who got damage from Will now, and Genicus uh, right over here. It's not an arrow or any. Oh, yeah, it is, sorry. It's an arrow through the shield and his arm. Sebek and Sakishi kind of caught unguarded right here. And now, I oh no way, his brothers are coming to help him out. And Azir, out of nowhere, gets a headshot. Well, I'm trying to bump and help Krula uh, here out. Manuela, sorry. And he does so. Ooh, that is a very nice bump, but nobody took that advantage as Azir finally found it. Trying to take a last shot. But with a calf out there helping out, uh, I wouldn't have risked that if I was Azir. Now, Virus was way up here, and we just saw him die in the distance as Lovka, the guy who is known to be surviving for such a long time. Comes in the back and gets that slash on. And this score is completely reflecting what happened in the break. As um, Polish Eagles. Well, they got this. They're, they're doing pretty good. What I don't like about Rodox, the faction that um, Polish Eagles are playing, is this padded cloth right here. Some people prefer it, but it has 11 weight. So you're always the slowest. It's like, you have decent armor, you're like a fat person. You have decent body weight to counter any bumps or anything coming in. But you're slow as hell. <laughs> it takes ages to get you somewhere. The Saracens are all grouped up, and so are PE, I feel. And they're kind of fighting along the side of this corner and these barrels, as they don't want to cross it. And Ganicus has a 
and that has cost him his life. Manuela trying to do the same, but with Habrex somewhere. Um, oh, he's down there. He's right here. Um, that was a hard time for the Polish Eagle. Oh, sorry. For the, yeah, for the Polish Eagle to survive. Takeshi coming in to fight as well. Manuela trying. It's a one on one fight right now. Asir takes down Panoramas, and that's a huge win. Takeshi goes down to Lovka, and only Dictator is left fighting the Punisher at the moment. Ooh, that outrange was sick. And with Wilno around, you know you're in trouble. So that was really good teamwork once again from Wilno. Um, kind of have to recommend him a lot because he's playing Cap on this map. Which is kind of okay, kind of like Mountain Fortress Cav thing, I believe. If it's not in the Barts. And um, yeah, he, he did it. Sebek now going Cav. As they do feel that they need a Cav to help out. Maybe. Maybe they're not wrong, though. But I believe it was just more about teamwork and sticking together rather than having a Cav class more. Saracen's pushing him very fast, and Prince have to, has to run. If he doesn't run right now, he's in trouble. Well, no, coming out, and, but like risking his life for doing that. Um, Punisher and another few guys from Polish Eagles coming in the back right now, and if they get the shots right, this is a huge win for them. But the Polish Eagle Infantry have to survive to make this happen though. And it looks like it is working out a little bit and now Saracens are scattered up in the open with Wilno chasing them. But Wilno goes down. Sebek looking to do something right here. And it's not working out for him as a cab. Oh that Chamber of Love God. <laughs> Sick. It was a chamber on the tab of Sebex poke, like from Sebex lens, and directly redirected to a Saracen infantry. That was really, really sick. Love Kyle, man. Um. So Polish Eagles have gotten the score to eight. Uh, sorry, Saracens, which means that they are not in a losing state anymore. They can only draw. The Polish Eagle can uh, lift up that way and win 4 0 right now. Make that draw a dream come true. Um, I'll change the scores right now. And once again, better music.
fellas. Um, it's live again. That means I'm changing the score. So I just wait up a little bit. What I've noticed in uh, the practice rounds just in between right now is that Swedians were actually doing better. So this is not good news. Actually, it is, because that's Spoilers Eagles and we want it to have a draw. So hopefully they do another map and then it's like all our infantry. Rodox, I feel, kind of are the weaker faction though. But um, Polish Eagle, on this map, uh, I'm a huge Rodox fan, but on this map, I kind of. Because on this map, if I was a Rodox, and I have not played as competitively, so I could be com telling you guys lies at the moment. But if Rodox were played on this map on the land side, not from the birds, then it's just a camp fest. Because Rodox archery, um, crossbowmen, sorry, are the things you gotta wor watch out for. And uh, Blade here proving my point as he shoots down Tabler. Right there, but this is a fire, so where's Blade? Oh, way, 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 way up there. Let's see from his point of view how far that shot was. So he shot the guy in the boat way from here and looking to shoot Azir as well, which is a very sick shot. As I mentioned, Blade, Virus, Habrak. You don't want them as archers. <laughs> no, not against you at least. Flag has spawned. And. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> uh, it's in a building, but I'll go to the fight as these guys decide not to go for the flag, but rather fight it out. And it's a very good call because they're a majority right now. What I love about these Polish Eagles is that they have such good control as infantry. They they can hit. Um, then again, they they can stop their hit whilst going at it. Very nice catch right there from Sakichi. Sadly, nobody warned him. Lovka, our infantry hero, trying to push out Blade. Our blade chooses to go down um, to have Sakichi help him out. But Wilno is there as well. Oh, and Sakichi wins this one. Polish Eagles had it for, for such a long time, but then I don't know what happened. Virus happened, that's why. He's got a 3-0, that means he got 3 kills in this round alone. And it's not looking good as the will not has to make this. He has to kill Virus, raise the flag, uh, and sorry, 15 seconds, and Sikichi in 15 seconds for a win. So all Virus is doing is just holding up his shield. He might actually do it. If he gets it one more hit, then he wins. But Virus is smart enough not to let his um, guard down. Blade takes it with a kill, and that is a 9. So a 9, as I said earlier, that's already an instant win. Um, three more rounds to be played, so Polish Eagles can bring it up to a 9-7. And um, I think they deserve it. I think both teams actually deserve it because they both play very, very well. That's all I can say. Saracen's looking to go in here, but Polish Eagles are on the other side, and I'm not sure if Saracens are going to give away their position. Because Polish Eagles really want to get that. Templar, um, really strange setup as he has no helm but chose the better armor instead. 
Why not? Yeah. Alright, so all of Saracens know that this is the place where it's gonna happen in just a few seconds from now. Might look boring, but this is a mental preparing. In boxing, they do it as well, and people cheer for them. As war bladers cheer for our guys right here. As soon as that flag spawns, mayhem is gonna arise. As you can see on my map, ooh, Prince, how diggity. And now PE is pushing forward. The flag usually spawns at two minutes, but they decide not to wait for it. They go in it, and it looks like Saracens countered them pretty hard as Sakishi came in just a second as they pushed forward. And Lovka is a hard infantry to beat. Habrak takes down this guy, and uh, it looks like it's three against three after all. Ganicus and Wilna has beaten those guys way in the back. So it's two infantry from PE trying to beat these guys, which are pure archers. Now, archers on Rodok do have these um, weapons that infantry can use, like a shield and, uh, and a cleaver. So they can fight as an infantry, as Habrak shows you right now, but he's actually crossbow. Lovka, once again, last survivor. And he's looking to come in and force these 2v1s as he feels better in this. Ooh, Lovka <laughs> bringing it back. It's all on him. He's been absolutely amazing he's in this match. gonna be so close as far as this also known to be a very good infantry not only his archer Lovka man <laughs> he's my new hero Ooh, gets a hit Ooh, that was so close if Fires would have stepped forward one bit <laughs> I've got glatches it. <laughs> Holy smokes. That was amazing. That was absolutely ridiculous. I hope I never ever have to fight oh shit I do. Um but love got man. You got some you got some skills. Sakishi trying to look uh, to come in the back here. Very, very subtle and very, very silent. But Wilna picked up his trace. Prince once again early headshot, and I love people who do that. Force a seven v eight. And if you can get it early in the game, it's a huge thing because um, majority wins. It's one thing. If you play it like if equal teams play majority wins, and um, well, yeah, it's just like a mental thing. They lost a player right now, and they got to deal with it. <laughs> Templar <and> Punisher <laughs> reloading in the same space. Manula, um, kind of trouble right there. Sakichi trying to do something, the virus is coming out as well, so Blackhawk has to drop right now, but he can hold this corner if he wants. Depends if if they if PE decides to push on the, the gate side. I think they will do another push as they did before. Which is at two minutes and twenty seconds. And they're all coming together and virus is now sneaking upon them. Saracens could actually push and win this if it right now. They decide to wait for the flag as Fires drops back. And Saracens kind of force them, but now we're gonna pull back so they can have Sakichi fight with them. They wanna fight right here, this is where it's gonna happen. 
got Sakichis on the other side, and as soon as he sees a head pop out, he's gonna charge him like no other. And here it goes. This is the first hit, and kills are being made upon the PE guys, who are exactly where Saracens wanted them to be. Prince with another very, head, very nice headshot. And uh, Blackhawk and Tabler up there, in very nice position. Blade, sadly enough, got error down. And uh, it's now numbers do matter. PE doing very, very well teamwork. Ooh, team hit from Blackhawk right there. Prince gets a kill. And once again, they, they just surround them and fight them. Virus gets a shot way from over there. Sebek survived, and this changes everything. So Virus is the only guy left, but Virus is close to full health. Talbler is an archer, and Blackhawk is only half. So if they are smart, they. Oh, hold on. Somebody is raising the flag already. So Blackhawk is gonna hold them off, and this is. 20 seconds for Virus to go through this ladder, through Blackhawk, onto the flag and win for, well, kill them before the time is over. Tablar leaves the flag, which is a thing to do, and Blackhawk makes it look easy as he takes down Virus. Polish Eagles living up to their name. They might get 9-7 after all. And uh, I feel like Polish Eagles had it more of the open maps. If they could have had one more round in the closed map, this would have been a whole different game, and I think that they might have won this. I really can't say, because they're both just really, really good teams. Well, no, being a little risky right there. And uh, this time. They're forcing it to come in from the backside here as Blade, the Archer, and Sebek, the infantry. Oh. <laughs> uh, come in, and now Saracens has mixed with them, and if you can see on the mini map, <laughs> they're all just doing ballet. <laughs> um, Deaths are going down here and there. Looks like Saracens are having the advantage right here as they have three infantry and one archer. Uh, Nima looking to be in trouble right here. So he pack pedals. I don't know what Wilno is doing, but he decides to park his horse in stables. Uh, he's trying to switch horse. I mean, because it was on low health. I didn't see it get hit though. Banisher just running and running and running. That's all he seems to do. Oh, uh, I see. Now he's in an open space. But then again, he isn't. If I hear correctly, the horse was taken down. Fires does a team kill, now this can change things around as another team kill happens, so if they both win their own fights, then this can be a win for PE. Punisher doing some very, very nice moves here. Ooh, almost gets that kick on right. Both doubting as they don't want to release their shields, but now Punisher is without one, so he needs to go through those shields. Misses the kick once again. Very close though. <laughs> That's some really funky moves. And looks like this is the last Saracen alive. Paranormix, really good infantry, so I do think he has this. Quick on his turn right there, as well now as in his back. Punisher looking to take a shot right here. I don't think this is the right move to do. 
as I believe that a 2v1 infantry could do it. And wow, this is uh, very, very well played. Um, so that brings uh, Saracens to 9 and Polish Eagles to 7. Um, on the scoreboard. Uh, let me just change up the score for you guys real quick. A little debate because people are saying 10 7, uh, 10 6, but I've been counting it match by match, stream by stream, and uh, as you can see, I did not mess up. This, the points don't lie. Um. All right, so. Uh, I was reading a little bit in um, the chat right here, but not really questions coming in. So I'll leave you guys to it. Uh, it was a very intense fight for me, as I didn't fight at all. <laughs> but I loved streaming this, and I absolutely saw way more than I expected today. Congratulate both Saracens and Polish Eagles, as both of them have played. Excellent, absolutely excellent, top top of the league, and uh, I love the way that they kind of fight as well. They, it seems like they both have the same style. Maybe they train a lot together, but most teams would um, just wait for flag and just play dirty. You know, play an advantage, and so I always try to lure in. And, Always like dismount calf and then just wait some more. But these guys, they kind of set up, and when one team moves, they just charge at each other and they just fight it out, pure individual skill. And I personally love seeing that. It's way, way more hype. Um, so, once again, congratulations to both of you. I guess Saracens are the winners, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. So good night from me to you.